Joining me for this week's DCTV 23's COVID-19 weekly update, special guest, Dr. Janet Meemark from the Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Thanks, Rick. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You've been a guest of mine for some time now, weeks into the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic, mm -hmm. and you have been providing so much information, so much details for many of us here with the county and our viewers as well. Um, I, You know, it's good to have you, and I want to get right to it. There are a number of questions that people would like answers on, and I'm hoping you can uh, help enlighten that. Um, I understand that the COVID-19 testing location has been moved from Hunter Park to the Douglas Public Health Center. When did this change take place and why was it moved? So that's a great question. So we just moved it this Tuesday, June 8th. And um, the reason we moved it initially was to accommodate another group at Hunter Park. But we've been looking at it um, you know, because we're thinking about how we're going to sustain this operation kind of um, a little bit longer term. And so we uh, we felt we'd be a little bit more efficient with our staff and our services by having it really close to our Douglas County um, Health Department location. So we moved it over there and it's been doing really well. And, and we've actually seen an uptick in the number of tests that we've been doing. So I'm really happy to see that. So it's over there from uh, Monday through Saturday, 8.30 to 11, and it's the 6770 Selman Drive location. So don't forget, you can go online, cobbandouglaspublichealth.org, and then you can get in that way. Okay, great. We'll be posting this uh, show this week on our social media platforms, and uh, it'll be really good to inform people of that change. Yeah. Um, how many COVID-19 tests has Cobb and Douglas Public Health performed? in Douglas County to date? So, so far we've done over 2,500 tests and we're really excited about that. And that's just at that location. So the hospitals and some doctor's offices um, continue to do testing as well. Okay, what is the positivity rate of those that uh, CDPH has tested in Douglas County? So from that location, the positivity rate is about 4%. So, um, so that's pretty good. We're, st we're holding steady at that rate right now. Okay. We want to encourage our viewers that we keep posting uh, the Georgia Situation Report with cases all over the state on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com that everyone's welcome to see and what have you. And I did um, want to, I, I did want to I'm mention sorry. Yeah, no problem. I just want to mention to everybody that um, I know that the when we first started, um, the delays in the, getting the results were, were substantial, um, but we've got it down to two days now. So it's really excited. And you can go on the portal and get the results yourself in English and in Spanish. So it makes it much easier for everybody. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Dr. Meemark, I've heard that Cobb and Douglas Public Health is now contact tracing. What is contact tracing? Thanks so much for asking. Um, contact tracing is a really important tool that we have in public health. So remember when we started the um, coronavirus experience, um, back way when we didn't have any treatment or any way to, to stop it. So we had to shelter in place at that point, right? And right. shut everything down. So as we reopen, you've seen everything starting to reopen. And, and a very important tool that we have is to be able to trace whenever we have a positive case. So when we have a positive case, they can be infecting people, you know, two days previous to when the symptoms started or when the test became positive to 14 days out. Right. And so this is a long period of time where people can be going out and infecting, you know, almost exponentially be infecting. Right. So what we do with contact tracing. So we the over the course of the pandemic, we have building been building up our um, our um, army of contact tracers. What will happen now is if you get a COVID test and you come back positive on that test, you'll be contacted by one of my staff from the Cobb and Douglas Public Health, and they will ask you, who have you been in close contact with over the last, um, it was like two days before your test was positive, or if you had symptoms two days before you started symptoms. So this way we will know who has been 
potentially exposed to COVID-19, and we will ask them to quarantine at home during that period. So during that period, they'll be watched over the two weeks to see if they develop symptoms. So you can see how if we can have everybody quarantined that were exposed at a high risk exposure, that we can stop the spread of COVID-19 from going too far out. Ah, got it, got it. So how will contacts be notified? So you'll be notified from Cobb and Douglas Public Health first to let you know that you are a contact of head exposure. And then at that point, they'll put you into that state system where you'll get text messages and then they'll check on you every day. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Great. What are contacts asked to do? So first of all, we're asking you to try your best to stay at home. So you have now been potentially exposed, right? So we ask you to shelter in place for those 14 days and kind of monitor yourself and maintain social distancing of six feet. I did not know, but your pets are included as well when you're um, sheltering for a quarantine. So that was a little bit surprising. I was I was surprised to know that, but it's good. I learned something new every day as well. So, but. <laughs> You're going to be checking your temperature twice a day, and then you'll be putting it into this app um, that the Department of Public Health has set up. And that way, they're electronically just kind of checking to see if anybody pops any symptoms. And then that person will have to kind of start the whole process again. But hopefully, you've been quarantining, so we don't have that many contacts for you. So we're looking for symptoms. So gonna, this is a great time to remind people of what the symptoms are. So remember, fevers and chills cough and shortness of breath, having any sort of fatigue, muscle fatigue, um, having headaches and sore throat, and then remember having a new loss of taste or smell, those, and then now diarrhea and nausea and vomiting have also been added to that um, lengthy list already. So how do contacts report their systems, systems, symptoms, excuse me, what's yeah, the best so way for yeah. So once you've been notified, they'll try to put you into this um, app, app type of thing where they will contact you electronically and you can enter your symptoms that way. So daily for 14 days. And then if anything comes back positive, you should be contacted pretty quickly to um, do another process and check your contacts and see if everything's OK. So I know one of the key questions people are going to have yeah. is participation mandatory or voluntary? So it is voluntary, um, but I want everybody to know why it's so important. If we don't have people that are um, being a part of the contact tracing, that's potentially you're allowing people who have been exposed, first of all, to not know that they were exposed and they can get very, very sick. And I don't think that's very fair, right? So right. people need to know and they need to shelter in place. So once you find out you're a high risk contact, you really need to stay home. If you don't know that you were exposed, you could be out and about in your normal life and exposing, I mean, it could be hundreds of people. And so this is a public health, just really a critical piece to this, that we all do our part to try to protect each other. So if you know you've exposed somebody, it's not your fault. It's out there. It's part of the community, right? So we right. just have to try our best, but we need to let other people know how to kind of stop this from spreading. Dr. Meemark, is there anything else you want to mention? Well, I want to remind everybody that they can get tested. It's still for free. Okay, at Cobb and Douglas Public Health, you come over to the health department with an appointment and we'll get you through very quickly. Um, you, so it's still free at this time. You don't have to have any symptoms. And I think it's you know great to have yourself checked. If you're out and about in the world, um, you know, going to your job and going and doing normal things, grocery stores and all that kind of stuff, get yourself checked every now and then, especially if you get symptoms. And this way we can keep everybody safe. And don't forget to wear your mask. So important. <laughs> Dr. Me, Mark, can't thank you enough for joining us today. I really appreciate. Thank you again, Cobbin Douglas Public Health Director, Dr. Janet Me, Mark. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Have a great day.